creating fancy cuts and filigree on gourds. This is the Gourd Master Fill-A-Point Burr. It has a 1 8 inch shank, so it's compatible with most carvers, such as the Gourd Master Pro Carver or other similar rotary tools. Before carving, be sure to wear a dust mask and safety goggles. Depending on how sensitive you are to dust, you may want to use a respirator style mask. You can use the Fill-A-Point Burr to cut open gourds. The Fill-A-Point Burr works best when the speed is turned all the way to high on your Gourdmaster Pro Carver. Hold the handpiece perpendicular to the gourd and drill straight into the shell following your cut line. When cutting a gourd, it is sometimes necessary to stop, rotate the gourd, and reinsert the burr. It is best to use the upper third part of the burr. The center and lower part of the burr are thicker and create more drag and potential for bouncing. Avoid pushing the burr too hard. Let the tool do the work for you. Gourd shells vary and some are harder and more dense than others. If you have a dense shell, you will need to cut more slowly. It is more difficult to cut at an angle because there is more surface area against the burr and it can make your burr bounce. It's that easy to cut open your gourd. Welburn Canteen Gourds are known for their extremely thick shell. When cutting canteen gourds, make sure to cut slowly. The Fill-A-Point Burr is long enough to go through thick shelled canteen gourds, but if you want a cleaner cut, it is best to do your cut with two passes. For the first pass, insert the burr halfway into the shell and follow the cut line. Remember to drag the burr with slow, even pressure and let the tool do the work for you. There is no need to apply force when making your cut. For the second pass, insert the burr all the way through the gourd and complete your cut. Look at that nice clean cut on that thick shelled gourd. If you notice your burr turning black, you often just need to clean it. Use a brass burr cleaner with your Gourdmaster Pro Carver. Remove the Fill-A-Point burr after it has cooled and attach your cleaning brush. Wear a pair of safety glasses and hold your Fill-A-Point firmly with a pair of bull nose pliers or a clamp like shown here. Turn the speed on low and hold the handpiece and burr away from your face as you clean. Just like with any large burr or attachment, make sure you are operating at a low speed. If your handpiece is vibrating, you need to lower the speed. In less than one minute, you have a burr that looks almost brand new. The Fill-A-Point Burr works great for making intricate cuts around the rim. This art piece by Gloria Crane is a perfect example of the kind of cut you can do with your Fill-A-Point Burr. To create a carved rim, start by drawing a line around the wood burn design. 
Drag your burr along the cut line using even pressure. Remember to use the narrowest part of the burr to avoid drag and get a cleaner cut. Use the fine pointed tip when carving in tight corners. At this time, it's more important to focus on tracing around the design rather than cutting through the gourd. You can go back into the cut and carefully carve starting at the top and working your way down. Look at that beautiful fancy cut rim! Here are some more examples of artwork with a fancy cut rim. The Philippine burr is so named because it is perfect for doing fretwork or filigree style designs. This art piece by Gloria Crane is accented with a beautiful filigree design. For detailed instruction on how to create this art piece, including tips and techniques on filigree carving, be sure to purchase the class Butterfly Gourd Ginger Jar with Fitted Lid by Gloria Crane on DVD. The Philippine burr can be made to make both large and small filigree. To keep the burr from bouncing, use the thinner portion of the burr when you are making the filigree. It is always best to start off with a small hole and work your way out to make it larger. The Philippine burr leaves the edges of your holes smooth in one easy step so you don't have to go back in later and sand the inside of them with another burr or tool. It's that easy to create filigree with the Gordon Master Philipoint Burr. This beautiful art piece was done by making filigree with the Philipoint Burr. The rose was colored with Gordon Master transparent acrylics, and the rim was decorated with red variegated metal leaf. Another fun technique to try with your Philipoint burr is etching right through stick and burn. Apply the color and sealer first, then apply the stick and burn on the gourd. Since you don't want to cut through the gourd when you are etching, hold the handpiece at an angle and be careful with how much pressure you use. The more pressure you apply, the deeper the groove will be. Once you have etched all your lines, remove the stick and burn. You now have a beautifully etched design.
These are just some quick tips to help you get started to use the fill a point fur. For more techniques and detailed projects, be sure to sign up for the free video tutorial series at www.welburngourdfarm.com forward slash tutorials.